you know, I got out here a couple of weeks ago and just missed it by three or four days and was getting videos and, and calls from the family. And I couldn't believe, you know, seeing how much snow and the temperature drop, you know, being from Texas, that's uh, it's not normal. You know, they say the weather's crazy. It could be hot and cold um, just by a blink of an eye. But yeah, my family's doing good. There were some power outages um, around their neighborhoods. Um, but for the most part, um, no water, you know, they, they had water. Um, but it's crazy, it's like you get power for an hour, power's turned off for two hours. So it's just, you know, it's just kind of one of those things. But um, when I saw the videos of the car, like the car pile up in, in Dallas and also in Austin, it's, uh, you know, prayers going out to all those families. There was a lot of, a lot of learning curves for me. You know, it, it was, uh, you know, as, as weird as it sounds, you know, the results were never there. I was never pleased with, with the results and, and my personal goals um, when it comes to the game of baseball. But I was able to learn a lot. You know, I was, I was able to uh, learn how to face adversity. Um, you know, basically dug myself in some holes and I had to get out of them. And I think, you know, this game is, is very challenging and very hard. You have to be able to learn those things quickly or, you know, it's just going to, relay over to the next season. So I think it was it was good for, for me personally to, to go home and see my family and clear my head and, and get back into, uh, you know, set my goals high for the 2021 season. For me, I think it was uh, very challenging. Um, you know, like you said earlier, not having, you know, a set time, um, you know, when the season was gonna start, there was just a lot of, a lot of challenges that, you know, us as players had to deal with for the first time, as well as everybody um, including our coaching staff. It was, it was just, you know, kind of a, a strange year, um, you know, but that's no excuse. I think overall, um, the, biggest, the biggest thing that I would say is it was mentally for me, and I'm a, I'm a big believer in, uh, you know, we've, we've thrown a thousand innings through our baseball career. We've done it a thousand times. Stepping foot on the rubber is, is just another day, so I think it has a lot to do with how you prepare and how you how you can uh, eliminate all the noise out there in the world. Um, so for me, I, I felt like there was a couple times, a couple starts where I, I wasn't myself. You know, I was overthinking, um, you know, giving too much credit to the, to the team we were facing or the hitter I was facing instead of just being myself and going out there and competing. I can tell you one thing, I'm, I'm hungry. Um, you know, I'm excited to get back out there. Uh, we have such a special group and, uh, you know, having, Having you and having Snell and Musgrove and those guys, Lamette, uh, you know, to look up to and to learn from those guys, it's I'm really excited. But you know, overall, a um, couple things I worked on was just getting my fastball back. I've uh, never been like a big analytical guy or or breaking down that stuff, but I know that you know the way the game has developed. Um, you know, I took a step back and and started learning a couple things about you know the rap soto and the track man side of things. So. You know, I can glance at that during the season and make sure that, you know, we're still where we want to be. Um, you know, but I think, like I said, it's just it was clear in my head, I think, was was a big part. And it's going to be a big part of the success for for this upcoming season is is just being able to uh, to clear the head, but also, you know, get back to being myself mentally. Um, fastball, like I said, was a I think was a big uh, problem for me last season. You know, I had more horizontal break than I've ever had. Um, so being able to, to take a step back and, and throw in a couple more bullpens this off season than I have in the previous years um, to really dial that in and get ready for spring. You know, being a taller pitcher on the mound, I my biggest success rate is whenever I'm north to south. You know, I, last year I was east to west. You know, I was, I was pulling off, um, you know, my spin direction was outside of one for the for y'all that know you know the baseball term of that the axis of the baseball was I was just I was getting two seam run on my four seam fastball um, and you know at the big league level the longer they see it in the zone you know the harder they're going to hit it so to answer your question I would say the biggest thing that I fixed was broke down a lot of video in 2019 as well as uh, you know 2018 and in, in the minor leagues of of really breaking down some of my mechanics on my front side, um, you know, keeping basically the term I use is staying grounded as long as I can um, with my legs and letting my upper body, you know, 
pinpoint the strong strong direction um, to whoever it is that I'm throwing to that day. I also believe that you know messing around with the cutter uh, towards the last season, um, you know showing that late, I think honestly helped get my fastball back. Um, you know because when you throw a cut fastball, you have to kind of be on the outside of it and you have to really stay behind it. Um, so I think that that really had a, a big impact on getting my four seam spin back in the direction that we want to go. Um, but like I said, I, I was I was amazed and blown away with with the uh, analytical side of things on the difference between my 2019 and my 2020 fastball. It blew my mind. Um, and that's when I really started to sit down and respect, you know, that these numbers aren't just, you know, thrown on a computer or written down. They're, you know, they're set in stone and they're, you know, some guys use them, some guys don't. But I think I'm I'm learning more on the on the side of I'm going to, you know, run with those numbers and being able to break down those things during the season to see where I'm at. You know, the way I, I like to explain it now is is confidence on all my pitches is there. And I, I, I think I've lacked that over the past couple of years of, of really trusting those pitches. Um, going back to the anal analytical side of things, I think I threw my fast or my curveball four or five percent of the time last season. You know, at the big league level, you know, that's not going to cut it, um, especially being a starter nowadays. You, you got to you got to be able to show three or four pitches um, to have some success. And, you know, I think the curveball, like I said, I'm pretty hard on myself, but I'm, I'm really liking the shape. Uh, I'm really liking the velo where it's coming out so far, um, throwing some bullpens in spring and, and have my first live a couple of days ago. So being able to get some feedback from our hitters, um, as well as as our coaches, I think is is going to be really good for me going into spring. You know, I've always struggled putting on a little bit of weight. Um, you know, I've always been that tall drink of water, that saying they say. But uh, you know, I, I really focused on my nutrition this off season. Um, and like I said, having having a, a season that I wasn't very pleased with personally, um, you know, got me in the weight room, and I, I attacked a, a lot of different situations and getting my making sure my body's ready to go for for spring training as well as the season. So I put on, like I said, six to seven pounds of, of good muscle this off season. I bought some land out in uh, <laughs> Texas, about 25 acres, I have like a little little cabin that I'm staying in and 30 minutes is the nearest grocery store. So I had, you know, once every two weeks, I went to the grocery store and, and stocked up and I cooked every night. And I think that, that had a lot to do with um, being disciplined, knowing that I can't drive over to Whataburger and, uh, you know, get a double meat cheeseburger. I had to, you know, stay disciplined with, with eating my chicken or broccoli or fish, whatever it was that night.